So, do you guys like stories? Well, I have I got doozy of a story for you. <laughs> So last time I made a rant, it was on my, it was about my job at Wendy's, like fucking forever ago. That was like, in fact, I quit literally the next day that I uploaded that video, which was like October 4th or 5th or something shit. I don't remember. I got, an, I, I had a new job recently and now I don't have a job. I want to explain to you the bullshittery that is made up of this story. I recently uh, got a job, and this time it was it was still at a restaurant. It was Burger King, because I'm only like 20, only 19. I mean, can't really do anything until I go off to college or some shit. I don't fucking know. So, I get this job, and I was there for less than two and a half weeks. Some bullshittery is about to go down. Or went down. I don't fucking know. My first day I got there. Long story short. They had me fixing up the little drive-in menu sign fucking looking thingies. And there was this bitch. Is, is the only word I can come up with right now. Seriously. I have so many words. But if I said every, every one of them that I want to call this. I don't even want to say woman. Then this video would be 10 years long. I worked with this woman for two fucking days. Two days. The day, my first day, I got there. The very first day. And my last day, which was around, which was, let's see, Friday. No, Thursday. Uh, Thursday, uh, October 6th, 2016. And this woman, after the first day, went on a vacation because I guess she was getting married. Which, by the way, you, I don't know what would want to marry this woman. This woman had to have had the, uh, the tightest pussy in the galaxy for someone to want to marry this bitch. I am not kidding. And I'll explain to you right now why I say that. So my last day on this past Thursday, October 6th, I go in. It was a 7 to 11 shift. I know. I mean, part time. Actually, I don't know if it, I don't know what they had considered me to do. I don't know. But I went in. First of all, let me explain to you this woman's character. She was a type of woman that if something was too challenging for her or something that was inconvenient, she's the type of woman that, would, that, that I'm holding up quotations, can't even. She won't do it because she just can't or just can't even. And she would pawn it off on somebody else and demand somebody else to do it, which is absolute bullshit. And this girl's a manager. It was around. I was supposed to be. I was supposed to leave at eleven, but as it was eleven, she wanted me to clean the fryers. And I, I was a day. I was supposed to be a day shift person. I applied for day shift. I was interviewed for day shift, and that's what I was supposed to get. My training hours were lunch into dinner, but I was supposed to be getting um, day. I guess it was the last of my training days because I was I'd closed once. I closed once and it was beside the point. This day I went in. And as I said, they had me cleaning the fryers, which I had never done before because it's a nighttime routine, a closing routine that I'm not even supposed to be fucking doing. And nobody had trained me accordingly because I was supposed to be day shift. So 
she half acidly she was all huffy in the first place because I didn't know how to do it. So she half acidly taught trained me on how to do this. I say half acidly because she was she just she couldn't even. She just couldn't because she didn't want to do it. And because of that, I wasn't I I wasn't prepared to do it by myself. And after she had taught me how to what she had taught me how to do is get this giant ass fucking cart looking plastic thing. You had to shove up under the fryers and then you had to like take this metal rod and then you'd have to shimmy shimmy underneath the fryer and pull up this giant metal heating unit. Which while it was turned on was almost fucking impossible to do. And if you, after you amazingly got that done by fucking miracle, you, it, which was, you had to uh, take the same metal rod and jam it up underneath this hole underneath the heating unit and jiggle that around to get this, uh, to the oil flowing down through this pipe underneath that you had to set the giant metal fucking rack thing under. And uh, after you got it flowing, after which you had to like turn this like a little handle I guess I know now to like lock and unlock the pipe or whatever to hold the oil in or let it flow and all and all the oil flew into this this filter on top of this giant rack plastic thing and then you just you take all the crumbs from the food and then just throw them away and then and then you take the metal rack to this big like pump machine and then you'd connect it to the pump machine and then it would suck out all the hot oil and then you'd rinse and repeat for the next fryer so on and so forth after you drain after you drained all the oil you had to take this, cl this powder cleaner and a fucking ho hose in like a, like a legit like garden hose and jet sprayer thing you know those like handles that go on the end of a hose that have different settings like mist and jet and and and, and free fall and free flow and whatever I had one of those and I had to like jet the fuck out of this fu out of this fryer and I know I'm cursing a lot sorry I'm just I'm, I'm so mad at this or ordeal so I I apologize if you hear me and it's like <gasps> you know I apologize I am sharing this on Facebook so if you know me hi I'm sorry it's just I'm mad you have to understand after I finish this story um so after I clean a fryer, I have to scrub it out. With After I get all the stuff in there, I scrub it out, and then I drain it out. And at the time, when I, after I cleaned it, I didn't. they never told me to turn this little handle or how to reseal the bottom of the pipe so that you didn't, you know, just spill out all the stuff you fill back into it. So I go, and uh, I go to... I mean, it seems like common sense to me now, but then I guess I, I was nervous. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and yeah. So after I clean all the, the fryer, this, this one fryer out, I take this. I have to go to the very back, grab this giant cardboard like milk jug looking thing that has oil, and then you open up, the, you screw it, open the the plastic top, and then you dump all the oil into the fryer. And you, uh, you, you put it back together, you assemble, and then you turn it back on, and then rinse and repeat for the rest of the fryers. Well, I go to pour the the, the, the oil into the, uh, into the fryer, and it all spills out onto the floor because it wasn't sealed, because nobody fucking told me how to do it. I do what any normal human being would do at this point, is to clean up my mess. I'm a grown man. I can clean up after my my own self, my own messes. So that's exactly what I do. I'm halfway. I'm more. I'm like 80% done with cleaning up my mess, or around 70%. And the same manager or woman comes around. Her name's Woman One, by the way. I don't care if she, whatever. I don't care if her name or whatever you say. Fuck her. She goes around, and she sees the mess and I guess she doesn't like the way I'm doing it so she yells at me and she's like she throws her hands up she's like oh my god go do something else I'll just I'll do, I'll do this myself 
she meaning, meaning cleaning all the fryers. So I do. So I go back to making sandwiches, cooking the rest of the food, yada, yada, etc., etc. So after a while, what you, wh what you do with the fryers, after you uh, get all the oil out, and you spray it down with the cleanser on the water and then you scrub it down and all the dirt falls off the sides and stuff into the, that dirty soapy water. What you do with that dirty soapy water after you drain it and the fryer is clean, you take it to the sink in the back and then you dump all the gunk and the soapy water into the sink and then when it's all accumulated after you're completely done, then you drain that sink and then you're, and then you're, uh, you're fine and dandy, sparkles and rainbows. And then you move on with your deck because you just finished the fryers. Well, one of, this, one of these uh, co-workers, he, he wants me to do him a, a solid and clean out that sink. Because he can't do it because he's busy with other people. So I thought I'd be a normal human being and be like, yeah, sure, I can help you out, bro. Whatever, fine. Yeah, that's cool. So I go. Although he doesn't, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Which is stupid at the time, now that I think about it. Because I thought all I had to do was like... Pull like pull the drain plug and then there you go and then just wipe out and then wipe it off when you wipe it out when you're done. So I go there and he he walks me to the sink and he explains he's just you just pull out all the paper towels and the gunk and stuff and throw it on the trash, you're clogging the sink. I'm like all right cool easy enough so that's what I do. After the water is clear, after of all the solids and stuff, I um I'm like. Why is this not draining? What's going on? And he's like, well, sometimes the cr like the little tiny crumbs from the chicken and and stuff fall down into the drain and it kind of gunks up and you you gotta like you gotta you gotta manually go up into the pipe and you gotta clean it off. So I'm like, whatever. There, so there's there's the pipe that leads from the bottom of the sink and then that the the sort of little metal drain sticking out of the floor and there's a little bit of space in between the two. So I kind of like, uh, to paint the mental picture, uh, I kind of stick my finger in between that space and uh, wipe the gunk away that's falling out of the pipe and clogging the, this little drain. Layer by layer, as it's falling through, off the drain, as it's falling through the pipe. And as I'm doing this, as I'm, as I'm trying to clean out the pipe, the fucking pipe falls off of the sink completely my i'm like almost six foot i'm like five eleven six foot and this this sink metal sink is filled up to my shoulder from the tip of my fingers to my shoulder so that's a good foot and a half two feet of water the pipe falls out of the sink as i'm cl as i'm doing this and all that water spills all over me and all over the floor. I'm panicking. I don't know what the fuck to do. My face is all contorted like, holy shit, what am I doing? What am I going to do as this is happening? And I start panicking. And then after it's, after it's all drained, I go to uh, that co-worker. And he sees the water. And he's fine with it. He's like, it's okay, bro. Don't worry about it. It's just a little water. Just grab a squeegee. We'll scoop it up. We'll, we'll push it into the drains built on the floor. No biggie. Well, guess who comes around the fucking corners? We're doing this. That's right. Bitch lady. She has this horrified look on her face. Like she just saw a xenomorph come down and and just just start murdering everybody and, and face huggers planting seeds inside of people. Like she saw the end of Macbeth live and in person or something like that but for real instead of a stage play the real thing and so uh, i already know what's going to happen she's like she immediately yells at me she's like hey dude clock out go home get get out of my store just clock out and go home and i'm like all right okay fine whatever so i go and i do that i clock out immediately immediately after she tells me to because i i didn't want to get in any more trouble and as I, as I'm doing this, I'm talking to one of these other nice managers. I'm gonna her name's I'm gonna call her Manager Two. Well, I'm talking to Manager Two about uh, just I'm just striking up a conversation. I'm writing down I'm writing down my schedule, 
she, she, after I'm done talking to her, uh, she walks away. I'm writing down my schedule on a piece of paper. A couple minutes later go by. She comes back to me. And she said, and I guess, uh, who man won and who man won one and manager two were talking. And so as I'm writing this down, my schedule for the, the week and the next, she, man, your manager two comes around. She's like, Hey dude, we got to talk. I'm like, Oh no. So I go to her to the office office and she's like, uh, yeah, we, we got to let you go. Oh no God! No God! Please no! 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 And I'm like, what? She, what? What is? What do you mean? She's like, well, she's firing you. We're firing you. You have to go home. And I'm like, what do you? What do you mean? What? What's gonna? I don't know what. I, what am I gonna do? I. She's like, what's? Go, I'm like, what's gonna happen? She's like. Well, you'll be taken off the schedule, and then you just won't come back. And I'm like, what? Why? And she, manager two's like, I don't know. She just she told me to fire you. And I immediately knew she met manager one. Who man one? I go to talk to manager. I go to talk to manager one. Who man one? And she says, it's been incident after incident with you. I am fucking livid at this point. I say, I have never, I was nervous. I say, I have never done this before. I've never cleaned out the sink. I have never cleaned out the fryers. I didn't know what I was doing. I've never done this before. I am sorry. I feel bad. I, I did, I didn't know what to do. First of all, she said it's been incident after incident with you. As if she fucking knows me. She legit says it with a t as if she fucking knows me. She doesn't know me. I have worked with this woman, like I said, fucking twice. Once in my first day and this day. A minute, a couple minutes go by after this in the conversation. She says, all right, well, come in for your shift tomorrow and we're just going to have to take this day by day super slow. And I say, all right. Fine. So I offer, even though I had already clocked out, I offer to clean up my mess because she said that she, the, the night people are already going to have to stay over to clean up my messes, which, like I said, I, I can clean up myself because I'm a grown man. She says, well, the thing is, you're still on my clock. If you stay, you're going to be still on my clock and I have labor to keep under control. I tell her, uh, I already clocked out. It's no problem. I can clean up this mess and then go home. And she's like, all right, fine. If you want to do that, do that. So I go and I start cleaning up this mess with the co-worker named Woman, I think. I don't remember. And I'm cleaning this up and we're, we're talking. We're like, he's like, it's no big deal. We'll just, we'll just, we'll do this. And as I'm cleaning this up, this mess, all this dirty water on the floor from the sink, manager two comes around and she's like, what the hell are you still doing here? She fired you. She told me, she told me to tell you to go home right now. And I'm like, no. She told me that I could clean this up and then I could leave and then I could come back tomorrow for my shift. And she's like, no, she just told me, she just told me to tell you to go home, you're fired. And I'm like, what? So now the bitch is lying to, to me and to everyone else saying other stories. So I go up and I talk to her and I say, and she says, and I ask her, do you still want me to clean this up? And she's like, no. And I ask her if she still wants me to come in my shift tomorrow. And she's like, oh, I don't know. And she looks all stressed and she's freaking out. She's like, I, I don't know. I just can't even right now. Hello, Akbar! Talk to <laughs> tomorrow. Talk to and to tomorrow, the GM of the store. And I'm like, oh my God. So I go home the next day. I call and I call the GM and I'm like, Hey, do you still want me to come in my, for my shift today? It's like, no, we don't need you today. Thank you. Click. I'm still livid at this point. Yesterday I go on to, I go to log into the account of the website that 
talent reef that you had to apply for to sign up with the application. And there was a termination uh, notice. And I wish I would have taken a screen cap of this. I wish I would have taken a screen cap for this. There were three things, three points of why they fired me. One of which was fucking... I get it, but then I don't. One of which was that I always looked like shit. She said my hair was always greasy and messed up and never kempt and which is bullshit because after I rode my bike to work and I was all sweaty granted it was sweat I I had a brush in my in my bag and I would always flatten my hair out and make sure it's not looking like shit and then I put my hat on so line number one right there the second point oh my god the second point the second point. Oh, are you ready for this? The second point was that she had to tell me numerous times to clock out. Numerous times. Oh my god. The second, the third point was that was that she had explicitly told me what to do and not half-assed. And I still failed to do under instruction, even though she was bullshitting around. It, it, that's, that's, that's my story. Moral of the story is, you never know what you're going to get at a re working at a restaurant. Fuck you, Burger King of Wilmington, Ohio. Fuck you, oh, man. Well, fuck you, oh, man. And fuck you, oh, man, too. I hope you're watching this. I hope you're watching this. Because I'm going to warn... Everybody I know that your store is shit. I'm going to warn everybody I know that all three of you are shit. And yeah. And I am happy I don't work for you anymore because I couldn't stand living in an establishment that fucks around and takes, you know, pleasure in being lying bitches that can't even. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this story. Let, let me know if you've had any similar experiences because I am excited to read what other bullshit has gone around. That's it. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for listening. I know you're probably, nobody probably is listening to this, but yeah. Thank you for watching. I am Godin with Godin. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I don't know. This is weird. Anyway, goodbye.